What's up everyone, it's your boy Norrad89 here bringing you another video and it's summertime so no time like this time then to revisit a Jason film and today we're going to be talking about Friday the 13th part 3 in 3D coming at you. This is one of my favorites, like probably is still hands down my second favorite in the franchise. One of the ones that I return to the most, I just eat this film up in terms of the cast, the kills, the Jason performance. The score, there's so much to love about this film. Like I said, this is just going to be kind of a fun retrospective revisiting this film and talking about my love for it. Like I said, it's summertime and time to visit some summer camp horror. So let's get into this. Roll it. We're actually going to bust out my Richard Broker like little figure right here just to show you right there. Have that sign up right there. That's one of the best. Like I said, in terms of Friday the 13th Part 3, this is just one that I eat up for real. Like, it's just so much to love about this film in terms of the cast. Like, I love all the members. Like, Chris Higgins' character, Shelly, Andy, Debbie. Like, all of the characters are some of my favorites to spend time with. Even Fox and her crazy biker gang of friends, you know what I mean? Like, it's just, for me, this is the film that just oozes that kind of Friday the 13th atmosphere that I want. Fun, creative characters that are cool to be around, and I, I get attached to them in kind of a short period of time, so when they start getting picked off by Jason, I actually feel something, and that makes, that holds weight, you know what I mean? That lifts the film up a bit more, because I can have slocky B-movie characters or shitty characters that I don't care about and watch them die, and that's fun too and everything, but it's just more of a connection when you have that love for the character, or you care about them, and then they're dispatched, then you really feel something more, and it holds more weight to the film. And we have to talk about Richard Broker, yes, like, we'll just show that off too right here, we'll show this off, like, his performance of Jason is absolutely my favorite, absolutely my favorite performance and stuff like that. In terms of the look of Jason, it's not my favorite look, but Richard Broker does the best just mannerisms wise and in terms of a Jason that terrifies me and I'm like, I'm scared of, he has this intimidating body with this really thick muscular neck and just the way he kind of limbers and lumbers around and stuff throughout the film and has these really big strides and really big steps like Really, this is the Jason that kind of creeps me out that I would be scared of if he was coming from me. I'd be like, damn, like he's a, he's a force of nature kind of thing, you know? So, yeah, Richard Broker's performance as Jason, Friday the 13th, Part 3, just really slam dunk cements himself as one of the iconic performances and, like, still to this day is my favorite of all the performances. And there's been so many great actors and, you know, stuntmen that have portrayed that character. And, yeah, this is top dog for real in terms of the Jason Voorhees just that they bring in the film. And this film's directed by Steve Miner, and Steve Miner's just one of those directors that comes into the Friday the 13th franchise. He knows what he's doing. He's comfortable making films, and he executes a very solid Friday the 13th film. I know a lot of people, they kind of talk crap about this one, and it's mainly because they don't enjoy the 3D kind of gimmick that they play on in this film, because there's a lot of shots and kills and just, you know, moments where it's just like things coming at you, because they really want to, you know, sell the 3D. 3D aspect of this film and another reason people talk crap about this film is just the characters you know what I mean they don't like the characters in this film and that's one thing for real if you don't enjoy the characters or you're not into Jason Voorhees or Friday the 13th this isn't going to be one of your favorites or anything like that so I could understand that and you know argument but for me it's just I'm the complete opposite I love all the characters in this film like Andy and Debbie are some of my top ones in terms of, you know, characters in a horror film that I wish didn't die. Like, I love Andy and Debbie's character. They remind me a lot of me and my wife and stuff. So, and Andy has one of the greatest deaths ever in a Jason franchise. He gets the upside down, like, handstand kill, and Jason just cuts through him, like, oh, so that was really epic. And you get the whole upward shot, like, as if you're Andy's perspective looking upwards towards Jason, and then he just comes down with the machete. So, yeah, that is one of the most epic kills. So, Friday the 13th Part 3, for me, I dig the 3D gimmick. I dig the kills in this film. The harpoon kill, you know what I mean? Even Shelly's kill, it's not, it's off screen, but seeing Shelly and you find him and he's like bleeding from the throat. It's a hot poker kill, man. There's so much to love about this film. So yeah, Friday the 13th Part 3 for me is one that just 
oozes that Friday the 13th atmosphere. And a lot of this film actually takes place during the daytime. And I still think it's kind of creepy the way that they execute the Jason scenes. Like, especially when he's taking out the biker gang, you can really see him like moving throughout the daytime and stuff. And he's in that farmhouse and just one by one, Fox is going down. And then the next guy goes into the farm and then the next guy. And then, yeah, Jason just takes them all down. So yeah, th this one clearly is... <clears throat> Still to this day, a heavy rewatch for me. One that I love returning to because, like I said, I I just love the characters so much. And this is probably, if I was to, you know, gun to my head, if I was to say this is probably my favorite cast of characters in terms of, you know, the characters in a Friday the 13th film. And that's why I love this one a lot. And it has, you know, climbs the list so high is because of the kills. The performance, the Harry Manfredini score, we can't forget about talking about the Harry Manfredini disco score for this film, and that's actually my ringtone for my text, like when you text me, the Harry Manfredini disco score goes off, so that you can tell that that's why I love this one so much, yeah, it might be one of my favorite scores for a Jason film as well, so Friday the 13th Part 3 for me is just one that... It just oozes everything that I love about this franchise. And I know I talk about this franchise a lot and you hear me at nauseum, you know, do rankings and, you know, revisit them and stuff. But this is summertime, Friday the 13th, part three. Wanted to talk about it and stuff and bring you some summer camp horror. But let me know in the comments section. Tell me some of your favorite films in terms of horror films to watch for the summertime because this is a glorious time. We got Sleepaway Camp, you got The Burning, you got the Friday the 13th franchise. So there's a ton to dive into. Let me know in the comments what are some of your top ones I would love to discuss with you. And be sure to like, subscribe, and have that notification bell poke so you're notified anytime I post videos. I'm going to be on a vacation pretty soon going out of town. So I got some videos that I already have filmed and they're going to be uploading to the channel throughout the week. So you're going to see some content even though I'm out of town. And then when I come back, I'll possibly have some, you know, more videos and maybe some stuff to show off because I'm heading off to Denver, Colorado for a little bit. So that's going to be an awesome, fun trip for the family, a little vacation. But most importantly, I want you all to have a safe and happy day. Peace out.